Hello everyone, today we are going to review the S2 Laptop Screen Extender, a 14-inch laptop monitor extender that promises to enhance your productivity and multitasking capabilities. This product is a 1080p Full HD Triple Portable Dual Monitor designed for 13 to 17-inch laptops and is compatible with Windows, Mac, Surface, Android, and even the Nintendo Switch. Let's dive into its features, performance, and overall value. Unboxing and Setup The S2 Laptop Screen Extender comes well packaged with all the necessary accessories, including USB-C and HDMI cables, a power adapter, and a user manual. Setting it up is straightforward, just plug and play. The extender easily attaches to your laptop with its adjustable mount, and the installation process is smooth and hassle-free. Within minutes you can have a dual or even triple monitor set up ready to go. Please continue watching the video for a detailed step-by-step -step explanation of how the S2 laptop extender gets connected to the laptop and how it works. If you are interested to buy, please click the Amazon link in the video description below. Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be looking at the MaxFree S2 dual screen extender. We're going to take a quick look at the product and also show you guys how to install it. So we're going to go ahead and open the box up first and take a look at what we have inside. So first we can see here this is going to be our carrying case. We have our carrying strap here in the front. We actually have a pouch so we can put all of our cables and then we're going to take our screen extender out first. It's about a little bit over three and a half pounds, so very portable for the size that it is. Next, we have our cables. So we have a couple different ones. This is gonna be our HDMI to Type-C. This will be one of our Type-C to Type-C. This is our second Type-C to Type-C. This is our USB to Type-C and our second USB to Type-C. And then down here, we're gonna have our user and installation guide. We can set these over here. So next we're gonna look at how to install our screens. It's actually quite easy. So we're going to open our left side first. Then we're gonna open our right side here. And then in the middle, we have a brace. We'll open this up and we'll bring our computer over in the middle. And then we're gonna just make sure we open it all the way to fit the size of our screen, make sure it's on the top and the bottom. And then here on the back, we're gonna open up our stand, bring this all the way down, and then we should be good. So next we're gonna be connecting our screen extenders to our laptop. So if you only have one Type-C port, um, first we're gonna use the included Type-C that we have here. The Type-C to Type-C will not only allow your laptop to connect to the screen, but will also provide the power source. So if you have that sort of issue, we'll explain how to do that in a minute. Our side here first. And then if you have to use HDMI, you are going to first connect the HDMI that you're connected to the right port. Otherwise, it actually won't work. So that'll be the very bottom one. And then in order to give power to the screen, we're gonna take the included USB to Type-C and then connect that to our laptop and then connect that here. So next we're gonna look at how to actually set up the displays, but first we're going to set the screens to the angle that we like. You can actually rotate these quite a lot. Uh, for this video, we're just going to have them set up about like how when we put them on. So now I'm gonna show you how we're gonna set up our displays. So we're on Windows here, so we're gonna pull up our settings. And then here, we're gonna make sure we're set to extend desktop to this display. And then we're gonna identify, so as you can see, we have one, two, and three individual monitors. So this will allow us to, let's say I have my crypto exchange pulled up on the right, and then I have my news pulled up here in the middle. And then maybe on the left, I'm gonna have something like YouTube. So now we're gonna make sure that we have our audio source selected to the right one. So depending on where 
you have your sound coming from will open up our settings here and then we can choose between our main computer and then our right display and our left display. So if we wanted to adjust the brightness of the video, we can just go to the left. If you want to raise the brightness, obviously we can just go to the right. If we want to adjust the volume, we'll have to press twice in quick succession like this, and now we can adjust the volume. If we want to open the full settings menu, we'll just press our button down once, and we'll display here. This will allow us to change a number of different things like brightness, contrast, the backlight, sharpness, and a, and a few other settings. Okay, so now that we are done, we are of course going to put everything back. So first we can start with taking out all of our cables. I'll show you what to do with those here in just a minute. So once all of our cables are removed, we will first open our screen extender up and remove it from our laptop. I'll put my computer over here first and then we're going to take our kickstand that we have down here make sure that's all the way up back in place then we're going to sit it down we'll put our flap in here and then right screen first and then the left screen will go on top and then we will take our carrying bag put our screen Extender back inside, and then I like to take my cables and then we can put them inside our front flap here and make sure the Velcro is sealed and be good to go. Please don't forget to like the video, share, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit that notification bell to be notified of new products review videos like this one. Please click the Amazon link in the video description tab if you are interested to buy the product.